Hello my lovely Capricorns, welcome to your reading for December 2021. I hope this reading finds you well. This is a general reading for you Capricorn. It's a reading for Capricorn Sun Rising and Moon Sign. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book a reading from there. That will be specific to you. My yearly readings are, for 2022 are out. If you would like a yearly reading, a personalised yearly reading, you can also follow the link to my website and book that reading from there. That is a limited time offer. It is available till the end of January 2022. So if that, if you would like to have a yearly reading, make sure that you book before the end of January <coughs> so that you get in. This month I am going to draw a card from the Divine Animal Oracle deck to see what animal energy is coming in for you for the month of December that you have to work with and uh, what that forms part of your totem. The totem is a fluid thing, it changes throughout your life. Different symbols, different animals you have in your totem brings different energies. What what animals would fit into your totem? You know, if you you're out and about and you see a cr crows or you see butterflies or you see ladybugs, whatever it is that you're seeing, that that animal is crossing your path. It's bringing you an energy, and you can Google that on um, and find out what animal energy that that brings to you. So let's have a look at what is there for you. Okay, so what, what have we got? Um, oh, okay, interesting. You've got wolf energy, authenticity, and that's very much what I get for you. It's about being the, your authentic self in December, really not being swayed by others, not being... Um, um, not being who other people want you to be, but being your authentic self. Find peeling away the layers and who who, who really are you? Who what do you what do you want in life? What goals do you want to set? Because it is a month of setting goals. It's a month of um, finding that true self. I'll show you the image. Finding your true self. Being your authentic self. The wolf is a very um, spiritual animal, very intelligent animal. They move about in packs. They hunt in packs. Um, there, there's nothing um, underhanded or not seen about a wolf. You know, when you see a wolf, they they know they set their intention. They they they're hungry. They want to eat. And if you're there, well, they're going to attack. You know, there's they be they're authentic to their own instincts to their own um, nature and so it's about you you finding that your nature your instincts who you really are who you um, are striving to be what are your interests what is it you want to do I'm going to create the Celtic cross here for you my lovely Capricorn let's see what is in store for you for the month of December. It's the final month of the year. Comes around very quickly, doesn't it? Can I have some cards, please, for Capricorn? What is there in store for the month of December for my Capricornians? Right, let's have a look. So, you're coming from this place of you've been you have been reviewing you have been looking at um, things from the past reviewing things from the past reviewing situations how you've behaved how others have behaved um, what the consequences of your actions are um, what the consequences of somebody else's actions are um, there's been this sort of re tossing backwards and forwards and reviewing looking at something from the past it, things have been coming up uh, I want to say to you that I feel like your dream life has been very active so things have been coming up through your dreams as well um, that that have been the intention of re-looking at something re-looking at situations in the past or a situation in the past it's a situation that has caused you some heartache 
Now, I feel like for some of you, this is a situation that is repeating itself. Something that's happened in the past, some action you've taken in the past, it's coming up again. And for some of you, it's um, a situation from the past that you're, it has been coming up for you, has caused you some heartache. So it has caused you some heartache here, some um, in just the, the thinking about the past. I want to say to you, thinking about the past, it's crossed with the Eight of Swords and, you know, <clears throat> it's sort of gotten you stuck, my lovely Capricornians. So whatever needs to be released from the past or dealt with from the past, let's giving it whatever you need to do to give it closure, you need to do that. You need to stop feeling paralysed like, oh, well, I can't do anything about this. I don't have the courage to do anything about this. I don't have the courage to deal with it. I don't feel like I want to deal with it. I don't want to go back into the past. But whatever it is, whatever your thinking is, it is keeping you stuck and it's stopping you from moving forward. It is a difficult situation. Um, I'm feeling like it is a difficult situation that's there. But by dealing with it, it's going to open up a new beginning. It's going to give you that new energy uh, and a um, a new start, a new beginning to move forward with joy and, and enthusiasm and um, that fire in your belly. At the moment, it's not there. At the moment, it's stuck. It's something in the very beginning of December when you're reading, you know, listening to this, it's time to deal with something that's there for you, my lovely Capricornians. You've got the Knight of Coins here as well. It's about being grounded, being earthed, and you are grounded. This is your suit. You know, the, the goat is it, it, grounded. It's about being grounded and charging forward, taking action. It's you taking action, having the courage to move forward, having the courage to take action. This is something that needs to be dealt with. It's going to, it's, it's something that is going to help you move forward on an emotional level because even on an emotional level, you're stuck. It's like life has got you stuck. Life has got you stuck and, and on an emotional level you're st there's a sense of, of being stuck. So there's a sense of moving forward. But it also is about um, communication or messages, either emails, texts, phone calls, uh, Skype, FaceTime, whatever. Over the ethers there's communication, there's messages going backwards and forwards. So whether that's how you're you're dealing with some sort of situation, um, rather than face to face, it's over the wires. Um, but it's a situation that needs to move on. Absolutely, the six of fire. It needs to move on because it is going to move you forward. It is going to allow you to make plans. There's some forward movement here. There's some change that's coming in. You're moving from one situation to a better situation. But it, it, it's something that's going to happen quickly. It's something that you're wanting it to have happen um, in, in moving forward. That's going to allow you to make new plans, set new goals. That's really important in December for you. Goal setting gives you that vision, that forward vision, something to look forward to, something to plan towards. And that's going to be up to you um, how much you, how many goals you set, what you set, what changes you want to bring in, what you want to um, bring into your life, what action do you want to take. But there's planning here. You know, the beginning of the month, you're going to take a lot of um, action. A lot of decision making, there's a lot of action, there's a lot of doing. Will of the Wisp, treasures hidden in the shadows. Yeah, you know, when you the shadows, this is your shadow, this is what's hidden within you. What is blocking you? What is what is stopping you? If you are, allow that to come to the surface, there's treasures hidden there, there's forward movement. Your life will be filled with other things. Very, very positive. So really it's about clearing the path, clearing the path, opening up your heart chakra, the king of fire. He's very controlled, very um, passionate, wants to get, gets things done. It's about bringing in that strength of the king energy um, of, of control and passion and action doing things it's not about sitting around and letting things just evolve it's about taking that action it's going to lead to new a new a turning point a new start 
a new start of uh, things happening very quickly, things falling into place, uh, enthusiasm, joy, um, finding your life's purpose, finding your interest again, getting your enthusiasm back. So it's really things are really going to fall into place. You've got two aces in this month as well, which is really positive. So it's well worth the effort in the beginning of the month to reap the benefits later on in the month to get things moving. You've got the Knight of Swords. You see, you've got three knights. This is about action. It's not about you sitting there and mulling things over and thinking about things and maybe maybe I'll do it maybe I'll allow fate or destiny to take over it's not going to happen you need to take charge you need to move forward there's a lot of thinking here there's a lot of communication backwards and forwards this is the card of communication you're communicating with someone you're taking that action you're instigating that communication which leads to further thinking and planning goal setting what do you want for your future because your final card is the ace of swords there's new learning new learning opening up new goal setting opening up a new life opening up there's new starts two aces new starts coming up for you my lovely capricorn so this action that needs to be taken with the king with the knights that you've got you're in control because you've got king energy but it that change that you're wanting that change that is coming up for review it's going to be unstoppable because i feel like the past is come is catching up with you the past is catching up with you and it's time to deal with it it's time to deal with it because it opens many many paths it opens many pathways many many um, decisions for you many choices are opening up for you for this for a new start that's coming up for you new goal setting i like that i'm going to draw a card from the lantern oracle to see what is there for you what have we got circles yeah okay circles Makes sense. Clarity begins in the eye of the storm. And that's what in the beginning of the month, that's where you're going to find yourself, in the eye of the storm. You've weathered the storm, that's in, from the past, but now you're in the eye of the storm. And there, in that eye of the storm, there's going to be clarity. People think, oh, wow, the storm's passed, but you're just in the eye of the storm. There's a second wave coming, and that's that let's, let's have a look at this. What do I need to address to get through this storm what do i need to address to put the past at rest so that i can move forward so i can lay new foundations set new goals it it gets you unstuck it gets you unstuck then you've got the divine abundance let's have a look oh that was quick wasn't it oh they gave you two my lovely capricorn freedom I no longer want this fiery ring of resentment to block the good, release me from its bonds. And that's the past, the resentment. It's about forgiveness and that will unblock you and set you free to move forward into your future because until then you're not going to be able to move forward and really nourish and grow in your future. And then the second card you've got is faith. Miraculously, amazingly, everything I need always comes. Love is opening me to receive beyond anything I imagine. And that's what comes with freedom. <clears throat> and that's what comes with freedom. And there's a lot of joy. There's a lot of positivity that comes from it. So first week of December, or week or so, week and a half, it's well worth the effort um, to lay to rest the turmoils of the past. Absolutely. So I wish you many, many blessings, my lovely Capricornians. Um, I wish you, for those celebrating Christmas, a very Merry Christmas and a very happy and, and prosperous 2022. For those of you that don't celebrate Christmas, I wish you a joyous festive season um, and time with friends and family. <clears throat> If you would like to book a private reading, you can follow the link below to my website and book that reading from there. Don't forget, have a listen to the yearly readings for 2022 and see what's a, a, an overview of next year with your goal setting. Where is it taking you? What's, what is it uncovering? 
If you'd like to book a personalized yearly reading, that offer is available till the end of January 2022. Check out my website for that as well. Many blessings to you all.